Agitatech tools. In this video, I'm going to show you the latest version of my DDJ1000 mapping for Tractor. New in this version, you have the smooth echo, just like the S11. You have the dual deck, just like the S11 and the SX2. And the polyrhythmic poly loops, just like the CDJ3000. This is all innovations that Pioneer introduced late last year and now they are available here in, in, in Tractor. So let's start with a smooth echo. We have a rhythm. And with this button, you turn on the feature and what happens is that when you close the phaser, you get an echo out. So here the track continues playing in the background. Same story for the crossfader. Okay. And uh, here you have these on the on the jog as well. So we have here some scratch. Okay. Here there is a new configuration page for uh, all, everything that then can be configured on the mapping is here on the on the second page of the hot cues. Same story here. This is more configuration, and with shift this is the smooth echo area, and this one is for the the jog. So this is how it works. So notice the echo. In these, for the jog, you have two types, that's why it changes the color. You either do an echo when it enters, when you touch the jog, when, or when you relieve the jog. Now I'm going to show when I relieve the jog. Pretty cool, huh? You have three types of echo. Right now is the the slow This is the fast one and you have a never ending one This one is never ending and with shift 4 you can custom you can customize your own smooth echo So you have two types of uh, uh, smooth echo two ways to cut the, the track. I just showed the echo out. If you double tap, it links slowly and now it's a vinyl break. Same story with the crossfader, etc. For the next demo, it's going to be the dual deck. So with the dual deck, uh, how it works is that with a single deck you control deck 1 and deck 3 at the same time. This is useful when you take two, two separate tracks and use them as if they will be a single one. Let me show you. So here, double tap opens for deck mode. Let's go to deck 3 and we have a, single, a simple bit. Nothing special. And on deck one, we have a piano. So, the way this works is like this. You enable, you enable a dual deck, which is on the normal, on the second page, like this, this guy here. And now, watch, that both start at the same time. And this is for all controls. For example, this is now tempo control, cues, scratch, everything. And if you set different types, you can, do, you can change with a single go as well the mixer. As you can see, I'm controlling with a single deck, all 
both tracks. And they are completely independent. So let me take this out. So this is the beat, this is the piano, this is both. And this is probably my most requested feature because it was present on the FX2. I'm going, now going to show you the polyrhythmic loops. So the loops work as follows. Let me show you like this. You have the piano. Now on beat loop, this is uh, three quarters, one beat, one and a half, three beats, five beats, and so on. And why is this useful? This is useful when you are changing between uh, um, um, styles with different BPMs. So this is going to be 1 to 7 and this is going to be 170 drum and bass. So let's get the, the rhythm back. And now let's start. And if you go to YouTube, you can see more, more examples from Resident Advisor, James Abiller, where it, they change between uh, completely different uh, uh, BPMs. Because there is a mathematical relation between uh, 1 to 7 and 170 is 3 quarters. That's why I made a 3 quarters loop. Another feature is uh, with the configuration, you now, now have continuous search. Just like record box, notice that I'm moving on the track, and this can be enabled, disabled like this. So like this, it does a single big jump, no more, and like this, it is continuous. And uh, and the last feature is that uh, um, on the latest bomb version that's upcoming, it's now a beta. Uh, I changed the mapping to be able to survive a disconnect. So imagine that you are the, the, the cable is faulty, you change the computers, whatever. You are now able, fully automatically, to recover. Let's wait for a while. This was not the case before. Before you had to do uh, a reset, which is shift plus one ties. Still there. But now you can swap anything, you can close tractor, you can close bomb, you can swap the cable, you can swap between A to B, you can do anything you want, and it will recover by itself. I hope that you enjoyed these, uh, these new features, this video. Send me feedback, and enjoy. Happy mixing.